welcome to my another recording of Tetpole Travel and today I will show you uh, the tips and tricks on how to complete the concerto mode. It's a single life marathon through all the courses and I'll tell you a few I'll show you how to do them along with a few t the things that I have learned that are useful to know. So you know, this is the first level, so it's pretty easy. The music's really nice and relaxing. But, yeah. Like, the score on the concerto mode doesn't matter because you'll get an X rank, regardless. Because it's, you know, just a survival course, so it doesn't really matter what score you get. But I'll collect, I'll collect them anyway because, you know, it adds to the music. I have actually, I have uh, actually managed to split this concerto mode only once, and mostly it's because of the Barracuda caverns. Because, well, it turns out that if you, it's <coughs> not that hard if you follow the, you know, the sparky notes. But if you don't follow them, you're likely to end up in the path of the Barracuda, and she does like free health the image with one attack so you kind of don't it's kind of essential to dodge it okay um, so for the challenge flies you want to bump into as many of these stat pools as possible and you'll get a challenge fly for this level uh, otherwise uh, this is quite an easy level because the first one but as I've learned quite a lot of the bubbles around here are actually hidden around the level, so it's easy to miss them if you are not paying attention. <coughs> uh, that's for those that want to get the 100 bubbles medal. Oh, I don't like this music. This is my favorite part of the song. It's so relaxing. What about the cavern that like there is? Okay, now for the tetapods. many as these you can. Oh, you see here the seaweed. Like, it's the, the tricky part. Because if you... It's easy to miss them because they're hidden behind the seaweed. <coughs> and, um... Uh, if you're trying to do a high score run, uh, like for an S rank, uh, it's not actually about collecting the bubbles. And, well, the sparkles help, but they're not so important. The most important are two things. First, that you don't get hit. If you get hit, you lose the streak, and that reduces your score by quite a lot. And second, probably even more important, are the symbols. Each symbol you hit on a level multiplies your score um, additively. So if you miss a symbol, you probably can't get an S rank. Unless it's like the last one in the level. Because, you know, you don't get any notes after that to get the score. Okay, so now we're at the Trout Tributary. Tributary? Tributary? Whatever. I don't know what it is. Tribute? Oh. Okay, um, this level is a bit faster, but still not that hard. The most important thing is to look forward to the gaps between the notes and just swim between them. Because, honestly, Dodging the notes like wildly is kind of easy at first, but in later levels there's not many, there's a lot of walls of notes, you know, like this. And you just gotta watch where the gap is between them. You can just swim through that and you'll be no problem. Because the notes only hurt if you actually hit the one that's there. Like in there. You can just swim, you know, like this between them. And you'll be okay. Fish probably, that's a good idea. Because well, it's not really hard to dodge, but I think it insta kills you because you know, it eats you, and you don't want that as a pet <coughs> Okay, now for the challenge fly. You see this yellow sparkling, uh, like you know, these four points. Uh, these are apparently gold, like gold dust. And if you collect all of them, here in this bathtub too, okay, this is done, you'll get the challenge fly for this level. So, 
It's just about collecting those ones, and if you do that correctly, you'll get a chunk shine. Okay, now we're in the, <coughs> the rocky part of the river. And now the salmon is slowly approaching. And now a bear comes. And you can see the uh, treble being visibly surprised. <laughs> I love how she, it changes facial expressions. It's, it's a really nice touch. I love it. <laughs> I still creeps me. I don't know. I wonder what that is. Certainly the beast here, as far as I know. It's something hidden under. It's a thing that lives under a rock. But yeah, the beast theory pages are just awesome. I love them. I love the blue things that, like the things that hang over rocks. They make a great sound. <laughs> okay, next we come. To to the turtle pipes. This is not one of my favorite levels. It's, it's too slow for me. It's a bit boring. But I guess the music is still nice. I mean, I don't. I like it, but I like the, all the other levels more. Maybe except the snow one. So well, it's, yeah, it's a bit slow for my taste. But you know. That's just my opinion. Now, I think for this level, for the challenge fly, you just get, have to hit all the symbols, which is, you know, not that hard. But, you know. Like, the only challenge of this level is, like, getting through the narrow pathways between the nodes. Yeah, apparently there are rocks, but I don't know, they don't look like rocks, I've never seen black rocks, but you know, this is the world of Tadpole Trap. Or, or Opus Island, yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. So, I don't know, this thing that happens there. And I think there are rocks in all the levels, except for the... Uh, what's it called? The... Oh, the awesome um, Oh, the Thunder Creek. Because in Thunder Creek, instead of the usual notes, they are actually snails. Oh, certainly. Because they're the one doing the singing, eh? I haven't noticed that at first. <laughs> but yeah, here they're just songs. And this float sand? I'm not sure what float sand is, but I think it's like a thing that washes up in the middle. Oh, I lost some health. But uh, in, the, in this mode, you have one life, but in actuality, uh, your life refills, and here's a secret bubble, <laughs> but your life actually refills between levels, so even if you lose a health pointer to you, it's not that important. You'll be fine. Like, you see, I have a full life one. Now, Chiptune Lagoon. Personally, I love Chiptunes, and, well, it's a great level. Now, for the challenge fly, in this level, you have to hit uh, all the reeds in the level. Um, it's not that hard, but it, except in the like underground part, it gets a bit tricky to... I mean, I think you actually jump over some of the reeds with the symbols. I don't know, we'll see about this one. So, you might, want, you might need to skip a symbol in this level if you want to get a chunk fly. But... I mean, I always... I always try to hit all the reeds anyway, because they make a great sound. <laughs> so silly. Also, I love the fact that if you hit a reed, like a puff of smoke or water or something usually comes out. Not on this level, it's super actual. Fill up. And the, uh, the, and the hills in the background actually have eyes. I think that's like a reference to Mario. <laughs> I hit the duck. <laughs> yeah, that's probably from Duck Hunt. In the bistro it says that they lay square eggs and then it probably isn't. They probably aren't too very easy to lay. But it's like a side effect of living here. Like if you're born here you just 
You're just born or pixelated now. <laughs> yeah, that sounds annoying. And now we go underground. So it's, I guess it's kind of like a Mario level, you know. The underground part. Oh, the hill is crying. Why is it crying? Maybe, maybe it's because it can't see me? It's like, oh, sad. Oh. Don't be sad. <laughs> I'm still here. Under this. Are these bricks? Are there bricks in the lake? Yay, they're happy now. Yes, they can see me again. Yay. Oh, oh no, I missed it. Oh, let's see. And now for the epic guitar solo part. I love this part. Uh, also, if you get an S rank uh, on a song, you actually unlock it in the music player in this game, so you can listen to, to it anytime you want. So, obviously, my first levels that I tried to get an S rank on were this and the uh, the Thunder Creek because they, they're my favorite ones. Well, all of them. Like LA95 or 94 is oh, it's also pretty good. Okay, now it's the easy one, the Midnight Bayou. With the singing tadpole. Uh, Why, hello, you can just see on. <laughs> you can just see how non impressed Treble is. <laughs> just, just like, ugh, not this guy again. <laughs> or maybe just. Just isn't impressed with him. It's still a nice song, nonetheless. I think it's like the only one besides. Or besides Thunder Creek and another refrain that's actually voiced. Yeah. And here you gotta hit the mosquitoes on the cymbal so you know, get hurt. I mean, it's obvious, but you know, I didn't know that at first. Uh, the, the, like the reeds here are some sort of plant that lights up when you hit it. And these are actually the same plants from, uh, that you later see in the Barracud Cavern and they're you know quite quite helpful there because they kind of stun the when you're feeling lonely <laughs> that, that's really so silly <laughs> I love this other thing <laughs> just <Rosemary. laughs> this is my love I don't know, they're obviously trying to like attack you? Or are they just snapping to the beat? <laughs> by you. <laughs> I have a soft spot for puns. <laughs> oh, the fireflies are dancing in the background. Dang, that frogs are creepy. The shadow ones in the background. Just squatting on a leaf. <laughs> the the mud cup is just chilling in the background. They don't care about anything. Here, he could use some modesty. Frenzo. How does he know? Wait, how does he actually know I need to grab those bubbles? I mean, after this level, there's a frog that tells you to collect them, but. Doesn't actually, you know, you're not supposed to know this. Man, the creepy frogs again. He has a lovely singing voice though. It's probably probably like the author of the game singing. Or is it his brother? I know they both worked on this game, but not sure whose voice that is. <laughs> it's a smiley face now. <laughs> yep, he's been friends on. <clears throat> and now for the hard one. Barracuda Caverns. 
In this level, you really want to, you know, follow the sparkles around here. Uh, you see the bird could in the background. It's like, ooh. And, oh. Now, you really want to dodge this. Like, follow the notes. Because he doesn't attack where the notes are. But if you, like, just want to dodge for the fun of it, like, just go randomly, you're probably going to get eaten. But you wanna you wanna go for the symbols because they dodge you out of the way. Unlike at the last level, because they're just a nuisance. But yeah, usually symbols are always like the rule in this game if it's a thing is if you think it's yellow, hit it. Like it always happens. I really love this song. You see, if it's, a go if it's yellow, hit it. Dodge. Dodge. Ow. Okay. Well, thankfully, I had some like mercy invincibility from hitting a rock, so I didn't get like the full free damage effect from getting beaten. And okay, now for this part. You just wanna like dodge down. Um, also, if you wanna get a challenge fly for this one, I think you have to hit all the reeds, like the plants. What? Oh, I almost. Dang, it's so distracting. But yeah, I think you have to like hit all the lights, like the reed ones, and you'll get the challenge fly for that one. For the midnight by you, you have to hit all the mosquitoes. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. And yellow thing. <laughs> And now for the epic part of the song. Which subtly changes into a pirate team. <laughs> because, you know, you'll see. Wow, okay. Because of the pirate treasure. in the sunken sea or and the barracuda gets trapped in a chest probably for all eternity <laughs> eh, he deserves it no I mean he doesn't really deserve it whoop and here if you're gonna get this symbol you gotta swim up fast no, I mean this is a nice level but it's not among my favorite ones I mean, I mean, it's not because like all the other ones are that much bad. It's not a bad song. I'm not saying that, but in my opinion, the other ones are even better. <laughs> I love how like the symbols are frozen, but when you hit them, you, they just like shed a layer of ice off. <laughs> That's what's it. Like he just goes. So cute. This whole game is so cute. It's like an epitome of cuteness. <laughs> like, you can just, uh, just go up here. Like, in this game, it's not hard to survive. It's just hard to collect everything. Like, get an Ephraim, get all the bubbles, get none of the bubbles, get like an Ephraim. Like, Ephraim is probably even harder than an Ephraim. Because in an Ephraim, you know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to not get hit and get all the symbols. But of an Ephraim, you like, have to get hit a lot and not die like periodically so you get so you don't uh, get a streak of notes because you have to get like the lowest well not the lowest but like a really low score there's like a there's even a ladder board for it or leaderboard I don't know. I'm sorry. sorry I'm not I'm my English is not a, my native language or my first language <laughs> this is the whistling fish. Okay. I wonder if it's the fish whistling around. Probably. It's in this game. Very fun. 
Like, you see this health bot? They're not here just for randomly. They're actually here because there's... Uh, for If you want the challenge on this level, the... the um, to get it, you actually have to eat uh, no food. Like, no health. Uh, like, health pellets. And, you know, you have to actually dodge those. Which is... I mean, it's not that hard. Just like, stay out of the way. But yeah, uh, if you if you did that, you collect the challenge fly for this level. Mm. Mm. Uh, the song isn't bad. <laughs> like, is this like a thermally active area? Oh. Uh, well, there's like like. Uh, Flowers. We call them bellflowers in our country, I don't know what's in English. But yeah, they're... <laughs> now, this is a unique level because it goes backwards. I mean, it's not that more difficult than the other ones, but it's kind of hard to judge the hitbox because, you know, the tail is in front now. Because usually the tail is not part of the hitbox, but in this part, I don't know. Because <laughs> I love how <laughs> Travel is just like looking over his shoulder because he uh, he can't actually see where he's going. <laughs> and for the challenge fly in this level, you want to uh, hit all the symbols because when you hit the symbols, you you see like there's a gem on this statue that I just picked up with the weird whistling sound effect. Uh, if you collect all the gems, uh, you will get the challenge fly for this level. And this level is happening like in a like a water a river that feeds into a waterfall. Uh, so you know that's why the the flow is so strong. Just Batman can't even swim against it. And here the badgers aren't hard to dodge, but if they actually drink you up, it will give you an instant game over. Because you know that. Jam. You just stick with the pen. It's, it's not really hard. This is quite an easy level. But kinda hard to get everything. Gem. I'm not sure how many there are, but you probably... No, oh, great, the boulder. I'm not actually sure what you're supposed to do with the boulder. Like, does it actually hurt you? I don't know, you just hit the reeds and you knock it back. Ow. Oh, it does hurt. No, you just ran into the rock. Oh, it does hurt you. Yeah, it hurts. It doesn't actually. Considering it's a giant boulder, it doesn't really do much damage. <laughs> Just saying. It's a bit tricky, but this is like a temple that, uh, like, an ancient civilization created in the name of badgers, apparently. Yeah, it's kind of cool. But yeah, the badgers probably aren't very fond of like. Tra spike traps in there where they're drinking. <laughs> yeah. Gives a very like Grand Canyon feel. Or America? I don't know, I've never been to America. I assume there's like probably some place that has an atmosphere like this. <laughs> and for the end of the level. Go over a waterfall. Oh, there's like a building. Is it like Machu Picchu or something? It's supposed to be. It's like a castle in the background. It's nice. <clears throat> it's a nice touch. Okay, now we're in Piranha Jungle. Um, one of the hardest levels to survive in. And unfortunately, also the hardest level to get a challenge fly on. Because if you want to get a challenge fly on this level, you have to not get hurt once. Like, dodging every node and the piranhas trying to eat you. I mean, on my first try, it, it took me like five times to even survive this level. Because I have no idea what I was doing. But even once you get the parent, it's still like, you have to dodge these spiders. Like, bubble spiders that live in a bubble. And you get eaten by piranhas. But yeah, you have to like, they first, they come at you one at a time. Like tips for everyone who wants to like help with this. So 
of them, just remember which one jumped and which one didn't. I mean, the notes here aren't that hard to dodge, you just like the same pattern over and over. And now dodge the spider. Now they come two at a time, the outside two, and then the inside two, and then the outside two again. But the, the first one doesn't go back for a while. So you have to, yeah, see? Just dodge it back later, so you have to be quick about this. And now I use the charge for this because I can't be bored to dodge all the spiders. Like, uh, if you're gonna get a if you're gonna get a charge time, no hit run. <clears throat> just use the charge here. Still looks useful. You can just go above them so they can hit you. And now, you know, because this is like a cartoony place, they decide to form a gun. Like, I don't know how that makes sense, but just when you hear the click, just dodge. Just stay in one place and then dodge when you hear the click. Or, you know, use a travel charge. You are pretty much invulnerable to everything that's like heating. If some tries to bite you, like the instant, in, like the insta kills, it won't save it from those. Like, Roku does, can still bite you in travel mode. And now the fat one just blows up the guy. <laughs> it's a fight. And gets eaten by a plant. Yeah. yeah, careful, don't sweep too high. And now, uh, the trick here is that the where they, you know, where they're standing in the group, that's uh, the height they land on. So, you know, this one go low. Oh, but you know, try not to get eaten by plant. This one just flat. And now for the singing high traps. I love that part. It's a great song. They're all great. But it's a and now, if you don't want to get eaten, you have to hit enough fruit to like feed the fish. Otherwise, they eat the fruit and just like they just go for it because it's floating. But yeah, if you don't, if you don't, there's like two more fruit than the fish. But that's because if you actually miss a fish, like if you don't feed a fish, one of them, it just eats you right here with an insta kill. So yeah, that's the important part. I didn't know that on my first run, I just got eaten by a whole flock. And now for one of the one of the few voiced ones. Well, voiced songs down here, and also like the most epic song ever like the epic song ever the thunder creek it's not actually that hard of a level but um, it's the most it's like the the fun song like all the oh and before i forget if you want to get all the challenge prizes, you see like their bubbles are in the eyes of some skeletons. You have to collect every single like eye bubble to get the um, to get the challenge line. And you see like the notes are actually um, uh, snails like that pop out of shell and sing a word of the refrain when they pop out. Yeah, they, apparently they choreographed this, like, took them like a year to choreograph this. And they sing this for everyone who comes through Thunder Creek. <laughs> That's so nice. I love this song. That one sounds so weird. Bong. See? Like I have a hot chunk and I have a fine PC. Or I have a fine thing in Bong. I have a fine thing in Bong. So I don't want to touch the free. I love this read. It's good, but with me. It's so heavy. But yeah, be careful bit because like these uh, targets from the pistol stream, they're actually too wide. So if you're like a bit off, you can still get hit by them. But I mean, they're not that fast. Actually. Like you can you can swim through the line like they are aiming. I thought they actually accidentally punch holes in the screen. <laughs> like there's just some broken glass. <laughs> yeah, they actually they uh, apparently, according to the booster, they live in the sea. But because this is quite near the sea, they <laughs> that's a booster. <distract. laughs> 
I'm not going to be. This catchphrase is almost with his feet. For a brief moment, you know which one is the most important to rest the show. The child has been done under the week. So go and tap on. Find your way back home. Swim for the same time you see. And when you get back, you can say that you do feel it's right inside under free. This is one of the most awesome songs ever. Like, is it like a dragon skull in the background? It has like awesome hair. <laughs> also, yeah, like there's a. And now the saltwater cape. This is, in my opinion, like. It's a really like, sad sounding level. Well, this is starts out sad. Probably because like your dead body, you're slowly suffocating to death in the sea. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, I don't want to die here. I have to get lots of health pickups because I just hit a rock. And well, you don't get a lot of health pickups around here. And with the consistently losing health, I mean, you get lots of them, but. You lose health constantly, so you have to get a lot of them. Like, constantly. The only time you don't lose health around here is when you... Oh, that's this... oh no. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna die here. I can do this, I can do this. Dodge up and this one. Dodge down. Yeah, I can do this. Yeah, like, if you're on <laughs> Maestro mode, you don't want to get hit here. Oh, and right, for the challenge fly in this level, you want to uh, stay in the salty water, so don't hit any of the symbols. Because they make you fly out of the war and... It's probably not good. Nice. Full health. Well, almost. So yeah, don't get hit any symbols and you'll get a challenge fly. Also, if you're gonna get all the bubbles, just hit all the symbols and collect that one over there. Because every single bubble on this level is like in the air for some reason. Except that one I just picked up. So yeah, if you want to get a hundred bubble challenge, just like the easiest one. Yeah, I just held it. Because you just have to hit all the symbols and you get all the bubbles. And if you don't get hit, probably even a high score. And now just hit attack rapidly because otherwise you get insta killed. Oh, and be careful because if you tap it too much. Apparently, it occasionally makes the controls like stuck. You yeah. have to press it again. Like, press attack again, so it will unstuck them. Also, in these symbols, like, if you see the like the circle, it's just like halfway, you can already hit them. So, just it's easier to hit them a bit before, because if you miss it, you can't like hit it a bit later. You can be early though, a bit. It apparently counts just fine. And now the song gets epic. So, just fits so well. Like, fills you with the determination to hold on and endure this salty, salty sea of certain doom and return home to your family. Because this is technically the last level before you find your way back home. There are actually two more levels. In this game, but you know, it's like that. A tag! <laughs> just, <laughs> just looks so. Su the pelican looks so surprised when you hit it. And this symbol, you see, when this symbol was in like really kind of water, it's like it's good to pay attention to the one that it's coming because otherwise it's easy to miss it. But what's that bird in the background? It looks so weird. Blue for they're not pelicans, where are they? Oh, that pop on to the right, nice. Stage complete. And now for the final boss. Like, you know, spoilers if you haven't finished the game. But it turns out there's like um there's like a crashed airplane polluting like the area with leaking oil. 
So if you haven't beaten this boss yet, you have to hit all the wires to break them. Um, I mean, if you want a high score, you don't want to break them all before the song ends. You have to collect like 50 bubbles, or you'll miss them. But yeah, it blows this one up. Also, if you stay in one place for too long, there'll be like an oil slick. And the oil slick actually cause it's like poison, so if you stay in it for too long, it will damage you. I love this song. What's it called again? I forget. Like, ELA 9. That's like the name of the robot. Like, why does a robot need a chain, like a, a buzz song? So, why, why is there an egg hanging from the... Like, is the egg controlling the robot? Is that like a control panel? I don't know. It's so weird, it's so weird. Like, why would the robot have an egg? Is that like a, just a weirdly shaped, like, frog? Like, chip box with chips? Microchips or something? I don't know. Also, this is the, this, uh, like, the rock part is the only part with the actual... With the actual lyrics, yeah. well, not lyrics, sorry, the health pickups. Like, if you're low on health and you're good at dodging, you just stay in this part for a bit. Mm. And to advance to the next stage, you have to hit, like, the egg thing three times. Oh, and, you know, that one. You know, the bus actually doesn't do much damage, like, one hit, so... I mean, surprisingly, like, some bosses do a lot more. And there. Uh, and I will switch to the third part. And for this, this third part, it's often too confusing to people. Especially with the awesome lyrics, like, I love this part. But if you so you don't You have to hit the flamethrower back then. You better tell me or I might make some tap bone soon. Tap bone soon. Call your buddies from coast to coast, get them all in here tonight. Just give me a C and the show is on me and as the music is slamming here, little pebbles be jamming here. Just let me see. What's a life without adventure? And what's a life without some pain? Have a fun we could just keep rocking down until you and I are going insane. And. This is how you complete Maestro Mode. Also, if you wanna, for the challenge fly, you have to hit, like, in the third, third part, like, when he sings, you have to hit the lighter every single time to, uh, like, not miss a single lighter or flamethrower, um, um, and you'll get a challenge fly. But for the, and for Concerto Mode, you just have to complete it, that's it, because it's hard enough. And if you want to get uh, in another tip, if you want to get a high score on the, if you're gonna get a high score on the sunk delirium, uh, you have to stay on the second part for as long as you can and hit as many symbols because uh, that will multiply your score by a lot in the final part. So you just have to survive the third part. But it, I got it like to eight symbols and I just completed the third part on like the first like hitting all the flamethrowers because you, you can skip a flamethrower and try to dodge it instead to get a few more notes because the song re loops but I, I think symbols ga gain you more points <coughs> well that has been the maestro mode for tactical travel thank you for staying with me and have fun